and fam, fam, what is up? It's your boy out here looking like an extra from the movie Warriors. Come out, Come out to play. <laughs> okay, no, in all seriousness, uh, you know, like most of us, we're just trolling through YouTube, trying to find something good to watch when we really should be doing better things. But then I saw this video. It is the this $47,000 camera shot Beyonce Obama in NASA's moon landing. So I figured, you know what? Let's uh, let's react to this together and learn about this $47,000 camera that I will never ever lay my greedy paws on. All right, let's get into it. In an age when nearly everyone has a high quality camera in their back pocket, the idea of shelling out 47,000 US dollars for this Hasselblad H6D 400C might seem absurd. This is one of the most expensive cameras ever made, and the price just includes the body. Hasselblad cameras have been res Just the body? Did, did you catch that? $47,000 for just the body. So we're looking at like a $50,000 camera here. Once you add on like the, what, $10,000 lens, the extra range finder on top and like the auto reload dude like this might be the 60 or 70 thousand dollar camera responsible for some of the most iconic photographs to date think of any pivotal cultural moment and Hasselblad was probably there these cameras have captured Leonardo DiCaprio and Beyonce to David Bowie and Adele Run DMC the Rolling Stones and even the moon landing so pretty much if you got a big gig you better uh sell your firstborn <laughs> and, and get ready to load up some film and use the Hasselblad, Jesus. So what is it about the moon landing? The moon landing? About this line of boxy, lightweight devices that inspire such immense mystique. The company has been on a one-track mission for almost 80 years and has become the gold standard of image making. So it was kind of always in the back of my mind, like, you know, when I, when I... Yo! That's Tyler Shields. If you don't know who Tyler Shields is, he's like one of the biggest fine art photographers alive right now. But he always uses film and he never uses like special effects. But I didn't know he used a Hasselblad, but it makes sense. If I want to sell expensive artwork, I need an expensive camera. More of the story. I make it, I'm going to get a Hasselblad. Behind the hype. Hasselblad. Hasselblad's quality has made them a mainstay in the fashion world, but it was the company's historic partnership with NASA that sealed Hasselblad's reputation as a technical trailblazer far ahead of its time. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hasselblad began working closely with NASA in 1962 to create lighter, durable cameras. So, we all know that film works in space. Who would have thought? Film can't work underwater, but... Your film can work in space. It's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Which would consistently perform in the uncertain environment of outer space. These photographs from the first spacewalk and moon landing captured on the iconic 500C remain some of the most beautiful. What? And widely recognized images from space. This commitment to excellence and innovation has allowed the Hasselblad to endure against its newer competitors. Holy shit. Could you imagine that? You're like training to be a, a NASA astronaut and they're like, hey, you know what? We're gonna, you're gonna be the first person to fly into space and land on the moon. But then also we're gonna give you this insane camera that you need to use with your giant like space gloves and take, you know, no no pressure or anything, but I know you're not talking for just an astronaut, but no pressure, but you know, you just need to take some photos that might change the world, might be in the room of every classroom, might end up on someone's wall. Every, every magazine, and I'm just saying. The first thing I ever knew about Hasselblad was that it was the camera that they used on the moon. The Hasselblads give you something different. There is a something tangible to the, to the picture. And then when you print it, that's when you really see a whole nother level to it. It's this rare combination of power and finesse that makes the Hasselblad the natural choice for the best photographers shooting their most high profile subjects. From beyond the natural choice for the best photographers should only the most high profile subjects. 
Anse's 2014 official calendar to an editorial shoot with Questlove for Fast Company, photograph duo Herring and Herring used the Hasselblad H6D 100C to bring moody, evocative personality to life. Fashion photographer Julian Tell opted for the same camera model to capture in this floral-inspired shoot for Versace's Spring-Summer 2020 collection, in an effort to do justice to the clothing's exuberant and colorful prints. The design of Hasselblad's cameras I feel like there'd be more pressure on, on, the, on the model. Hey, I'm using this uh, $60,000 camera in this film, you know, so technically every shot's costing me like, what, $1,000? Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. This aims for a boxy, compact silhouette for portability and ease of use. When you use a Hasselblad, actually looking down rather than looking at the person, which is a very interesting way of working, and it kind of slows everything down, kind of gives you that extra breathing room. And when you're in the darkroom printing from a negative that size, just the detail is unbelievable. He saw pimples in that guy's head. That's hard to do with a film camera. But of all the cameras Hasselblad has constructed, the 500 series is undoubtedly its most iconic. Launched in 1957, the first Hasselblad of the series was the 500C. The camera went on to capture music royalty. British photographer Garrett Mankovich famously used a 500C for the likes of Jimi Hendrix. So note to self, if you're in the streets and see someone carrying around a square camera, you should probably rob them. I don't say I told you so, but I'm just saying it might be a good idea. You could probably buy a house afterwards. You could probably buy a couple cars. You could probably invest, probably buy some Bitcoin. That's crazy. That's just kind of That's just kind of crazy to me. The Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin. Among Hasselblad's other notable models is the Hasselblad X Pan. The 1998 X Pan emerged from a partnership with Fujifilm and for the first time allowed a 35mm to produce a 65mm panorama nearly twice its size. Years later, in 2016, Hasselblad made history again with a Hasselblad X1D, the first ever mirrorless medium format camera. And at a whopping 47,000 US dollars, the Hasselblad H6D 400C. This DSLR camera boasts insane build quality and technical agility. For instance, a dynamic range of 15 stops, giving unreal detail in color and tonal quality. We can trace Hasselblad's org. Wait, hold up, I I'm kind of curious. Like, we're going to find out how much these lenses are. 41, when the company was established as FW Hasselblad & Co., a trading company in Gothenburg, Sweden by Fritz Victor Hasselblad. Arvid Victor, son of Fritz, met Kodak company founder George Eastman in 1885 and partnered with him to enhance the photography division of the company. 1948 saw the introduction of Hasselblad 1600F, the world's first SLR in medium format. Almost 60 years later, the 1600F still looks first class. From space travel to... Whoa! That's wild. That's some crazy history. So, Kodak... I forget, it was like William Kodak, the guy who pretty much invented film, like 35 millimeter film photography when he made it more commercially available for everyone, worked with Hasselblad to improve what he was doing on. So Hasselblad, it's like the two OGs, like the, the faces on the monuments, Kodak and Hasselblad. I had no idea. I literally had no idea. I thought he was just some like Russian dude stowed away who just had a knack for making really awesome cameras for space ninjas, but like... This dude was like at the advent of photography invention. It's kind of nice. Old Hollywood to hip hop greats to fashion royalty, Hasselblad's storied history has become inseparable from its technical prowess. Even just within the last 10 years, imaging technology has progressed leaps and bounds. And as cameras get smaller, faster, and less expensive, creating amazing photography becomes accessible to more people than ever before. Year after year, the company gets down to work and raises the bar elevating the technology of its cameras while maintaining the quality and trademark design the pros have come to expect. And with an almost 80-year legacy to maintain, we wouldn't expect anything less. Sure, you probably won't need a $47,000 camera for your Instagram, but when the day comes, you need a $47,000 for Instagram. If I took my Instagram photos with the Hasselblad, I would put that in every caption. I'd be like, sup, flexing with my $47,000 camera. I live in a box, but I got this camera. That's so crazy. You better follow, like if someone that says that, you better follow them straight up. Photographing Obama, there's Hasselblad. Guys, there's only one thing we can do at this point. We need to find out how much this shit really is. So I'm gonna look and let's see how much this entire setup is because I'm very curious. If it's $47,000 $47, for just the body, 
How much is everything else? Let's, let's look it up, let's look it up. Bam! Just like that. That's all there is to it, Dustin. That's all there is to it. A winner! Just like that. We'll be right so, guys. To end this video, I officially feel broke. I'm going to go jump on my scooter and crash right into the Potomac River because I will never use a medium format camera. <laughs> no, seriously, this is ridiculous. And I hope I can use one. I will, if I ever do, I will make a video for this channel using a $47,000 camera and shit my pants. I will literally have someone have a string attached to it so I never have to drop this thing. I'd be so scared to even rent one of these things. But, you could like take a photo of a piece of turd and sell it for like $30,000. So maybe it might be worth it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready to go into school loan type debt for a camera, but you be the judge. Let me know. Are you about to buy a $60,000 camera? Me neither. Peace out guys. Until the next crazy photography video.